good morning wow are you serious there's so much space out in the woods and this freaking banana van has to park right next to me let's go talk to this guy hello is it okay if i camp right here <laughs> look like a nice spot is this guy again <laughs> that's right guys i'm taku this is life What's going on? Northwest Fishing Secrets. And uh, as you can see, I'm back in Washington now and we're gonna be doing a little two-part uh, series here. And I we're gonna be doing the part one on my channel and we're gonna do part two on Northwest Fishing Secrets. So make sure to uh, subscribe to him so you can get the notification when he posts that. Anyways, we're out in beautiful Washington, up in the mountains and we're gonna be trying to catch some crawfish, trying to catch some fish, maybe go hiking, and we're gonna do a bunch of stuff. And we're gonna get started on some breakfast first. Breakfast time and coffee. So I just made some breakfast for us. Mm, some eggs, avocados, vegetables, muffins. Yeah, so we're gonna eat and get our day started. Go ahead, you can take that bowl, Life. Oh, is the bowl, is this mm -hmm. me? Yep. Sweet. So we got here last night and when we got here uh, before it got dark I went out to the river and uh, we set up a crawfish trap so hopefully there's some crowd ads in there uh, we're gonna go check that right now oh yeah totally right uh, here I we go on. here we go get into our trap See the trap? I don't think there's anything in there. Life just found a crawdad across river. He got it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, let me check my trap. Well that's a little uh, nice. <laughs> he got one. Alright, let me see where is... Oh, here it is. Here's my string right here. It's attached to the trap. Let's bring the trap up. I see nothing in there. Nothing! Nothing? Nothing. Well, I'm providing here, obviously. Well, that's a little disappointing. But obviously, there's crawfish here. If life just got one. Damn. Can't believe there's nothing in there. This is a nice, calm deep pool here not super deep but deeper than the other parts of the river here too to like look for them with the goggles and stuff yeah wait did you let it go yeah we just let it go no okay it's in my pocket <laughs> are you really yeah he's right oh there oh my god <laughs> he's poking me like with something out i don't know there you go there, <laughs> there you go nice that's an eater right there eater size eater size yeah that's right Lift some rocks and see if we can find anything. Macho man, come on. <clears throat> this is such an awkward, like, vulnerable, <laughs> vulnerable. stance. <laughs> is that one liftable? No. no, no, how about this one? <laughs> <laughs> this one. Okay, this one. There he is. Oh. Oh. No, I don't think I saw any. No. no. Turn the rock where it was, all right. All Got life over here. Taku over there. Is he going to make it? Ooh. Ooh.
we are back at camp. We're gonna grab some fishing gear, maybe try some fishing. We might dive in there too to look for those crawdads. Look at our camp. Very nice. Very beautiful out here. Look at that big old mountain behind me. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at my crawdad trap. Oh, there's two. Oh, you got two? Oh, yeah. Nice. I got two. I mean, that's not very many, but we got one each. All right, <laughs> we're making a little bit of progress. I'll just throw it right back down. What do you think? You wanna try to find a better hole? For fishing or crawdads? Both. Uh, oh, 100%, yeah. What we'll probably do is uh, mess around here a little. I wanna get one dive in. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, let's do a little dive in here. Yeah. Are you jumping? Yeah. Oh, don't hurt yourself. All right, it's gonna be really cold. Woo. My shirt got blown in by the wind. Woo. That feels good. Oh! 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 Fish on! We got one. <laughs> He's got one. Little tiny guy. Look at that. Nice little rainbow. Wet your hand a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Come here, buddy. You're all good. Right through the nose. Get the hook out, barbless. And he's off. <laughs> oh, oh, he's hiding behind my foot. He was like <laughs> trying to get under my foot. All right, let's do this again, but with goggles this time. Oh, so many rainbow trout. Really? Yeah. They're just like right there, top the rainbows. I'm going to try to swim with them. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I saw that. Too small? Yeah, he's too small.
This little guy here is a little small. Remember, we always want to stay sustainable, so we're going to let the little guys go. Return back to his home. <laughs> Freaking mountain water. Mountain water, man. Snow melted. <laughs> Snow melt, exactly. <laughs> Glacial melt off. So cold. It's freaking <laughs> literally snow melt water. It's so cold. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm shaking. But oh gotta get a little more. It's it's colder when you come out <laughs> than when you're in there. I put Jocelyn's sweater on, but <laughs> I know, it's still freezing. <laughs> oh, we gotta make some lunch right now. I just need to warm up first. So I'm gonna show you what I call the mountain pizza. It's because I want I always make it when I go out to the mountains, go on hikes and stuff. It's basically an adult size lunchable. <laughs> so what I use is garlic naan. Get some pizza sauce, some mozzarella, and salami. And you just put that together, make a little pizza, lunchable style. You don't need to cook it, you just put it together. That's what we're gonna make right now. Piece of naan, oh, it smells so good. Garlic naan. Okay. Spread that on there. And then we have this reindeer salami that we got from Canada, or Alaska, actually. And there you have it, guys. Little mountain pizza. It's so easy to make when you go on hikes. All you need, four ingredients. Bam, 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 put it together. Got lunch for for four people if you got uh, four packs, four pack of naan. So really, really delicious lunch on the go. <laughs> Stop shaking. <laughs> I'm just trying to level out the marinara sauce. <laughs> <laughs> the stock is so warm. Yeah. Here, let me hook you up with some cheese. Oh, dude. So mm. lovely. Mm. There you go. We got a little more salami. Take some more salami. Are we calzoning them? I eat it just pizza. You just pizza it? Yeah. J Jocelyn's calzoning. Mm. Oh, that sausage is good. Mm. Yeah. Salami. Mm -hmm. Very good. Ooh. Mm. That was so cool. There was probably a school of 20 trout down there. Yeah, there's a lot. Just dispersed everywhere. Did you ever have Lunchables when you were a kid? No, huh? They don't have that in Deutschland. We didn't have those in Deutschland. <laughs> I'm shaking all the cheese off my pizza. <laughs> Dang, snow runoff. Oh, yeah. Stupid snow water. It has snow to be water. so cold. After your hand starts warming up, it gets tingly. Mm. I'm on a tingly stage right now. Great, I've got that to look forward to. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna pick up the trap and we'll head to another spot, find somewhere else to fish, and probably, I don't know if we're gonna dive again, but <laughs> we'll try to set the trap for the crawfish so we can get enough for dinner. 
Nice. Got one extra. Yeah! <laughs> Sweet. Good size one, too. Yeah. I can't believe there's not more in there. Go. Nice. All right, a couple more casts and let's get out yeah, of here. Yeah, exactly. Let's get the heck out of here, man. Yeah. There we go. Fish. It is a rainbow. <laughs> oh, he took the top one. Oh, yeah. Zebra midge, and pop them right off. There he goes. Nice. <laughs> nice. All right guys, new spot. There's a good amount of rocks right here. It gets a little bit deeper and it's pretty calm. So I think that's gonna be a good spot for the trap. Right in that hole. I got a fairly long line here so I can reach all the way over here, tied to a rock. Should be good. I'll start the drift around here. Yeah, yeah. Kind of let it drift in. Drift it through. Yeah, perfect. All right. I know. Yeah, we're going to try a little fishing too, see if we can get a trout, maybe a brook trout. Yeah, let it in, let it in. Yeah. This is going to be it. Oh! Oh! Did you see that? Right at that drop off down there. Good hit. Oh, he snagged that one and broke off. So we're going to go with the bullet lure. Sucks that was a lucky fly that a subscriber tied. I might go diving for that uh, tomorrow. Yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna get that back. Get back in. <laughs> Bullet lure time. Now Bullet it's game lure. on. Game on. All right, guys, had a bite here. Didn't hook up, but let's try to get him. Perfect cast, here we go. Nothing. All right, can you record this? I'm gonna catch one right here. Oh, but come a little bit closer. Oh, got one. Got one. Tiny guy, small guy. Oh, it came off. It was a tiny rainbow. A crawdad? Yeah. No. -uh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's catch him. Get that. Oh, you know what's up with that? Showing my hand in front and gonna go from the back. He's surprised. He's like, what was that behind you? Oh yeah, meaty claws on a little guy. How weird, I mean, this is the weirdest water to ever to like search for crawdads in. Just a shallow pool. There's gotta be something under this debris.
Alright, you know what? I'm gonna um, grab my trap here. Oh yeah, cool. I'm really curious to see what's in there. There's gotta be something. There's a lot of crawdads on the move. Oh, it's full of them. Full of, there's some in there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a... There's at least one, two. Yeah, a couple. One's good. There we go. Oh, two eaters. Three. Yeah. Three or four? Three. Nice job. Okay, better than nothing. Nice job. Very nice. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys. I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go make some dinner, and then we're going to check the trap later tonight. All right. Come on, craw kids. Craw daddy's home. Unfortunately, there's currently a burn ban in the area, so we can't have any fires we go right through here to our campsite well we got four more crawdads at least that's something and there we go yeah all right well cheers cheers success cheers to not catching any fish <laughs> we, we caught fish we caught fish no keepers no keepers yeah no keepers well we got and we got like 12 crawdads yeah killer <laughs> i was happy we got any i had no idea if we were actually gonna like if there were crawdads in this river so that yeah. was awesome all right well now you know there are now some we know. now we know yeah well now i'm gonna make um since we don't have enough crawdads for a full meal we'll do a little appetizer and what i'm gonna make is we're gonna do like a crawfish boil but a Viet Cajun crawfish boil, Vietnamese and Cajun fusion. And uh, that's actually a, a, an actual thing in Texas. I believe in Houston, they do that. And uh, it sounds amazing. And I've been thinking about it a lot since I've heard about it uh, a couple years ago and I, I've never tried it, but I wanna taste it, see what it's like. So uh, we're gonna give that a go today. No complaints here at all. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's give it a shot. So I have some ingredients here. Of course, we got the Old Bay seasoning. All right, we got some ginger, Thai chilies. Oh, we got the sausage, we got green onions, we got the corn, we got the potatoes, and we got the crawdads. Do you mean to like, keep the crawdads entertained or something while you're doing the vegetables? Uh, yeah, that'd be good. That'd be, that'd be nice. Just like take them to the river and let them like take them on a walk real quick and yeah. bring them back? Yeah, I think that sounds pretty good. <laughs> They're, they would appreciate that. I'm sure they would Just appreciate that. Just the last that. moment. Just the last, last moment, like one more. Yeah, one more sniff, one yeah. more one more fresh breath of <laughs> fresh water. Oh, we also have lemongrass. That's gonna go in there as well. We actually have um, some albacore too that life caught just uh, last week or so. Two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. Yeah. yeah, so it's been in his freezer. Now I'm defrosting it. We're gonna make some sashimi with that as well. Lemongrass. Oh, I didn't even hit it. Rookie mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Does that just like break up the fibers a little? And no, it brings out the aroma. The, okay, guys, so it yeah. just gets the aroma. Yeah. A little... Ooh, that cut. That actually cut through. Oh wow, it's tender. Tender corn or more? sharp knife. All right, we got some sausage. So I'm gonna add the ingredients into this hot water here. We got Old Bay seasoning. I'm gonna put that in first. That should be good. I'm also going to put some fish sauce. We'll put the ginger and lemongrass in there as well. Let me taste. Oh boy, that is flavorful. We'll throw the potatoes in too. Just go for it. Water's boiling. Let's get some corn in there as well. Yeah, and we'll get our sausage in there too. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There we go. Twelve, four, four, four each. And uh, these guys have been on ice, so they're uh, mostly out, but they're going in to the boiling water. Get in there. 
an instant death. It's an instant death. There you go. Bam. We're gonna boil these guys up for a few minutes and I'm gonna make my sauce right now. We're gonna make this Vic Cajun sauce, starting off with some butter. Gar garlic herb butter, all right. I'm down with that. And I'm gonna use this lemongrass to min mix it around. That infuses the flavor of the lemongrass into the butter. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I just don't have a utensil. <laughs> garlic and chilies will go in next. This sauce is going to be spectacular. Oh, I need my lemongrass again. Yeah, infuse a little more lemongrass. This is sizzling now. I'm gonna put a little ginger in there. I'm going to throw this Old Bay seasoning in there as well. Dash of that, more lemongrass. A little bit of lemongrass. Put a little water. Fish sauce. And some honey. Honey. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna finish it off with a little lemon juice. Throw everything onto this plate here. Make sure the yeah, potatoes are cooked, everything's cooked. I'm just going to top it with some green onion here. And I'm going to put some green onion into the sauce as well. Pour some of that liquid right on top of them. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is my take on the Viet Cajun Fusion Crawfish Boil. This looks amazing. It smells amazing. The fish sauce really comes through. Some bread here. Ooh. Want some of that? Want some of it straight to the butter. Just going right into it. <laughs> Not All right. shy, I like it. All right, let's go bread mm. and butter sauce. Mm. That's so good. Mm -hmm. I could eat just butter and <clears throat> <laughs> it's spicy. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. It's a good sign. I just put it straight to my throat. <laughs> Woo! Burn my throat. <laughs> mm. I'm going in for a crawfish. Mm, that's wonderful. All right, I'm gonna dip it in. Hang. That's the head suck. Ah, oh, that's the head suck. Wow, so much flavor. Oh yeah, I'm gonna break open these claws, dude. Oh yeah, that claws, that's a big claw. They're worth it. Yeah, get you. <laughs> <laughs> the head juice is good. Little tiny piece. Mm. Oh, mm. look at this claw meat, dude. Oh, it's silky. It's really Crawfish smooth, down. really nice. Oh, the that, you just ate their first tail? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's really good. I haven't even had a tail yet. I've just got this big yeah, that's claw a nice here. Piece of claw. Oh, you should have dipped it. Mm, I sure. Uh, that's all right. What's mm. that? Kind of like crab meat, but a little milder. Mm. Not like you know, like a Dungeness. A lot of more crab flavor. That was just mm -hmm. a little cleaner. Okay. All right, first tail. Mm. Oh. With the sauce, mm. firm. Delicious meat. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. oh, good job. <laughs> I wish we had more. Yeah, right? Yeah. I should have deveined them, but. Uh, it's all good. Comes out still if you pull it. I'm yeah. just eating it. Yeah, honestly, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I don't really care. There you go. Wow. That is really soft. That is. 
The claw is really good, bless you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that'd point. be so sick if we still get more crawdads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll go right after this. <laughs> then we can like either eat some more tonight or we can take them up in the mountains and eat them with mm -hmm. some trout. Yeah, let's do that. Nice and spicy. Fish sauce makes it, mm, gives it that nice saltiness. Super flavorful. These are clean crawdads up here too, and these like yeah. snow melt off yeah, glacial streams. It's actually from a glacier. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a glacial runoff. We are going to now uh, cook this albacore, or just we're gonna make sashimi or a little tataki. Anyways, today was awesome, beautiful day, but we're gonna have a full day tomorrow as well, and that's gonna be on Life's channel, Northwest Fishing Secrets. So make sure to go subscribe to him so you get that notification when he posts day two of this uh, little adventure that we're on. In the mountains, we're hiking up to a lake. Yep. It's gonna be awesome. Doing Catching hike. trout. Oh yeah. Big ones. Yep. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Maybe a little one. Nah, no, we'll I, a little one I trust you. I trust you up there in the mountains. Yeah, there was a big one yeah. there last year, so. Yeah. We should be good. See you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace. Then we'll finish it off with some smoked sea salt. Try this? Yep, try it out. This right. is your albacore. Yeah, no kidding. Caught Hard -earned. Like two weeks ago. Yep. It's an honor for me to have my first tuna ever caught prepared by Outdoor Chef Life. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Let me try it. Good. Get in that. <laughs> mm. I'm amazed that Listen it should on. be a crime to can that stuff. <laughs> Why would yeah. anyone can albacore? Yeah. Albacore tuna it is fantastic. No joke. <laughs> that is very good. Yeah, Super well. good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good night.